that what is the other ways to talk about future in English without using the future tense? Very good questions. Uh, there are a number of different ways of referring to the future in English. Uh, this time we'll be talking some of them. Hello and welcome to our two minutes advanced grammar lesson with me on all Islam along with my boy Fkam Tahasan Islam and your amazing, fantastic and awesome channel like in Bangladesh. We use the simple future to talk about an action or condition that will begin and end in the future. Or when the decision is made at the moment of talking, we use the simple uh, future tense with the auxiliary verb. For example, we can say, I'll be there in 10 minutes. We can use the present continuous to talk about future arrangements. For example, Sawa is going to Japan after after the coronavirus crisis. Impressive. For scheduled events or timetable events, we can use the simple present tense instead of a future. For example, we can say the plane takes up at 5 p.m. For near future, we use about two plus full infinitive like I am about to go to the drugstore. Do you need any medicine? Good. Uh, we use a B plus infinitive uh, to talk about the event in the future. Uh, we see this structure in the newspaper and media. For example, we can say the Prime Minister is to visit uh, the museum next week. We also use B plus D to plus full infinitive to talk about the future without using future tenses like my uncle is due to arrive at 4 p.m. Good job. That's, you know, uh, there are many verbs uh, used in the present tense, but actually have the future meaning. Uh, look at the following examples. Uh, Iti expects to begin studying law in the next semester, or I intend to buy a new car, or I hope to visit Paris someday. So you see this, these verbs are always followed by the infinitive. And uh, that's it. Uh, see you next time, guys. Toodles.